Hi everybody, I'm Carl. My amateur radio call sign is W8WZ. And tonight I'm going to make a video showing how to check in to a CW traffic net. Uh, it is 6.59 right now, and at 7 o'clock we will have the North Carolina's section net, CN. Uh, it's Carolina's net. It actually is the section traffic net for both North Carolina and South Carolina. And uh, it meets every night at 7 p.m. on 3571 on the 80 meter band. And I'm going to do my best to try to narrate what's going on and explain the protocols as to how to check in. Uh, I'm making this video because I've seen a lot of videos of traffic nets, but um, not many where it's explained. So somebody just asked, QRL is the frequency in use, and that's our net control. He asked, is the frequency in use? Then he called CN, Carolina's net. This is N0SU, our net control. And he says the Carolina's net is for North Carolina and South Carolina. He said QNZ, tuned to his frequency, N0SU. QNA. He's asking for specific check-ins for specific stations, which he'll now name. So W4JF checked in when he was asked for, he said QRU, he has no traffic. Now he's asking for the North Carolina rep. That was the South Carolina rep. Or that's a 4 n rep. So. So he asked for a North Carolina rep, who's our rep coming from North Carolina, AA4MP checked in, and he said QTC, which means he has traffic, 4RN1, which means he has one piece to go to the fourth region net, and PGN2, which means he has two pieces for KC4PGN. Milt W4QB just checked in with no traffic. Now he's calling for the Carolina Slow Net rep, please. Now he's asking for any check ins.
Okay, now Net Control's coming back and he's gonna say QNS and list everybody's got. That's me. Now I said, good evening, gents, stand by. Now, when he called the names of the stations or the call signs of the stations, if they had traffic, he sent an R after their call sign to know I received the fact that you have traffic. And you can see who had traffic, I noted it. W4KX, QTC he had for KC for PGN he had two. Everyone else below him was QRU, which means no traffic. Now he's calling the stations that have traffic and he's sending them up. He said up so they can pass the traffic on a different frequency. And I have a wide filter. You can hear them up a little bit. I'm going to narrow it down so we can only hear net control. It's hard for me to filter that out. Now what net control is doing while the stations who have traffic for each other are on other frequencies passing it, he's going down his check-in list, calling people one at a time. In between each person, he's asking for new check-ins. I'm having a hard time talking over somebody. So I'll explain this after I'm checked out. I'm next. I've been checked out, so now I can turn the volume down. I'll explain how he's going about releasing people. So once Net Control has all of his check-ins, um, he then handles the traffic. And the way he handles the traffic most efficiently is by taking the pairs who need to pass the traffic to each other, sending them either up or down a certain number of kilocycles so that they can pass their traffic. Sometimes he will direct them to pass their traffic and then they're just dismissed from the net. Other times he'll want them to come back and he'll let them know with the proper Q code when he sends them up or not. On this net, generally speaking, he just sends them up and says, when you're done with your traffic, adios. And that works very well on this net. It's the standard procedure here. Although net control could vary that if he wanted to by telling the stations differently. Uh, tonight, when he sent them up, they were fine. They were, they were to pass their traffic to each other and be gone. Then, once he has all the traffic handled, uh, he goes down his list of check-ins. And uh, you can see I noted them on my scratch pad here. 
Um, so he started with his first check-in here, let's see, um, that didn't have traffic, um, W4QB. He'd, he'd call W4QB. Uh, W4QB would then send something back to Net Control to let him know he was acknowledged. Um, oftentimes what's customary is to send the first letter of your suffix. You can also send an R, you can also make a dit. Some people send a C. You just have to make some sort of quick noise with your key so that Net Control knows you heard me, you're listening to me. Uh, so he would call back, he would say W4QB, and then he'd, W4QB would say back Q. And then Net Control would usually say like TU, which means thank you, um, 73, um, good GN, good night, something like that. Let them know that they're free from the net. And then you come back from that and say, you know, TU, thank you, Don, who's net control name, 73, this is call sign. Then net control calls CN question mark, CN Q, Q and A question mark, which means, or Q and I rather. Anybody else want to check in? If somebody else wanted to check in at that time, they could check in at that time. If there's nobody else, then net control will call the next person down the list. Same procedure, thank them for checking in, release them from the net, they come back, thank you, 7-3, then he goes on down the list, calls for a check-in, comes back and releases everybody. And then when he's all done with everybody, he sends QNF, which means the net's over. And um, that's, that's really how it works. Now, checking into nets does vary, and so you'll want to listen to a particular net before you try to check in to see what their protocol is. On our section nets here in North Carolina, the protocol that's used for checking in is just to wait until you hear a vacancy when, when the check-ins are being called for, when it's, when it's Q&I. Um, and then you send DE, your call sign. And then if you're QRU, no traffic, you send QRU. If you're QTC, which means you have traffic, you send QTC, and then you list who it's for and how many pieces. Uh, you can also send, if you're QRU, instead of sending that, you can also send N, which means nil or none, no, no traffic. So some stations will send N instead of QRU. Either is, is completely acceptable on this net. And they both mean the same thing. Um, other nets, instead of using this protocol, other nets, you send the first letter of your suffix. So for instance, some other nets I participate in when I want to check in, uh, instead of sending DE, W, H, W, Z, I send W. And then net control comes back, W. And when I hear net control send the first letter of my suffix, which is W, then I send D-E-W-H-W-Z. If I'm Q-R-U, I send Q-R-U. If I'm listing traffic, I list it. And then net control comes back and acknowledges that. Um, when net control is acknowledging the check-ins, if you have traffic, he will send an R after your call sign. And then you'll know he knows I have traffic. If you're, if you're Q-R-U, he'll just send AS, which means standby. And when he sends AS, you just stand by until he calls you. And if you're gonna have traffic coming to your station, he'll call you and have you handle the traffic and direct you that way, which um, I'll get, maybe I'll do another video on that if, if we have to do that and show how that works. Um, but if you don't have traffic, then when it's your turn, he'll call you up and dismiss you. Uh, another way that sometimes net controls will dismiss you is they'll do it in groups. So instead of one at a time, they'll send like, um, he could have sent uh, K4IWW and he'd have sent back I. Then he'd have sent K4KX and then he'd have sent back K. And then he'd have sent uh, W8WZ and I'd have sent W. Then he'd say, uh, 73, thanks for checking in, you're dismissed. And then IWW would go, thank you, Don, 73, K4IWW, and then the next one would go, 73, thanks, Don, W4KX. And then I'd go, 73, thanks, Don, W8WZ. And then after that, net control would again call any more check-ins, CN question mark, QNI question mark, no thing. Then he'd call the next three, same repeater. And that way you can check people out in groups. Um, if net control's really busy or the net's a big one, they don't have to dismiss you individually. They can just uh, dismiss everybody in group. And that's okay too. Um, Usually our section net is small enough that we get individual dismissals. And um, sometimes when it's really short and the conditions are good, people will even say, you know, like, good evening, hope you're well, um, stay warm in the winter or stay cool in the summer. So, you know, people will say a little polite greeting because we know each other and um, 
you can in a smaller group like that do those things. But uh, generally speaking, this is not a time for rag chewing. Generally speaking, it's 73, thank you, get on and get out, because the purpose of a traffic net is to move the traffic. Well, I hope that helped uh, understand the protocols for how to check into CW traffic nets. I know that the conditions were a little noisy, and I don't know the quality of the recording of the CW on the video, and I certainly struggled to try to explain what was going on with my mouth while I was listening to it all with my ear and waiting for my time to check in. So we'll see how this worked. And if it's decent enough, I'll post it. And if not, I'll do a redo. But I hope this was helpful. And I hope you get into CW traffic handling. It's a lot of fun and uh, something that I enjoy a lot. So until next time, 73 from Carl W8WZ.